everyone. Welcome to day three of week 12 of the Guildford City Fitness Livestream. Make sure your warm-up area is clear and you've got a drink. We're going to get going with the IM warm-up uh, with Simon Says at the end of it. So start thinking of ideas. Um, we're going to go dorsal press to sit back and begin. Just change your hand position as you go through. Just start narrow, work your way wide. Start turning your hands up. Morning from Sam, hey, morning from Danny and Sophia, and morning from Pernas. Hey, Danny, Sophia, and Pernas. They reverse lunge and rotate, so it's opposite knee to hand. So reverse lunge, left elbow to right knee. Twist round, stand up. Morning from Scarlett and Michael. How's it going, guys? Morning to you both and your socks from Zach. <laughs> yeah, the book and the white Zach. I think by the end of all this, they're going to have holes in them, so never used to wear them this much. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm done with that. Then we're going to go into uh, walkouts. Morning from Cara, morning from Clelia, and morning from Harry. Cara, Clelia, and Harry. How are you today? New week, hopefully you're waking up a little bit. <clears throat> morning from Nancy, Robin, and Jamie. <clears throat> Nancy, Robin, and Jamie, hello. Morning from Dylan, Grace and Joe. Grace and Joe. Hello. Uh, then go into leg swings. Make sure you keep your stance for flat. Stance is the ones on the ground. And morning from Maddie for the fist bump emoji. Good morning, Maddie. So you want to keep your foot flat so that you don't end up kicking higher than you're ready to. Morning from Luke and morning from Charlie. Hey, Luke and Charlie. Good morning from Manon and Nugget, just come back from a run, me, not Nugget, with lots of smileys, lots of hamsters, lots of kiwis, and lots of laughing emojis. Oh good. And good um, morning from Edith. I might start, why don't I buy a kiwi? Just like, put it in the video somewhere, <laughs> see if they can find it. Yeah. Okay, then after leg swings, you're going into IYTW and then some burpees. So, two seconds out. Make sure you get as much of that movement as you can from your shoulder blades. So. Good morning, Jordan from Eleanor. Hey, Eleanor. So, squeeze down at the bottom, turn your thumb as you go through. So, all the reach comes from this bone and these muscles here. Not just reaching with your arms because you can do a lot of movement here without moving this and we need you guys to be able to control this deliberately so you might not feel an immediate difference but it'll have a massive massive impact on how you learn to adapt your stroke when you go back to training and it'll help keep your shoulders healthy very healthy and then burpees so you've got four of them And then Simon says, so we're going to, again, make sure your area is clear, and I'll start us off like normal, and we'll go from there. Two, one, go. So, touch your toes. Remember, it's one burpee for every, uh, every mistake. Simon says, touch your toes. Simon says, lunge. To both sides. Sun says, star jump. Morning from B. Sun says, roll over. If you have room. Sun says, jump. Sun says, quit like a chicken, get down low on your feet and waddle around. I'll give you the clucking. <laughs> so, B skip. Or you can do like, a duck walk. Do a duck walk, yeah. But they don't clock it, they quack, so. That was your hit. It was. <laughs> Simon says 10 press ups. Uh, Simon says we'll do up push up. 
Simon says, do a wiggle and a shake. Simon says, be a worm. Be a worm. Come on, wiggle down. <laughs> and a worm. <laughs> and then relax. Okay, ready to go. Round two. And go. I hope so, these guys are doing all the uh, embarrassing Simon says, uh, just run the spot. Simon says, jump. Simon says, touch your left foot. Touch your right foot. Um, we've got an unhappy comment saying, where's the shake? You didn't shake. I did shake, I went down like that. Mm, that's a wiggle. You wiggled, you didn't shake. <laughs> well, let me figure out the difference and I'll do it in the rests. Simon says. Do an elephant dance, however you want to do it. Oh, we're out of time. What shame. Oh no. Um, morning from Morgan and Phoebe. This one's his joker. <laughs> what, did we, what did we do for the elephant thing last time? We had an elephant dance. You, you and me had to do it. Yeah, didn't you do the... You know the Spider-Man thing? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you did that. Spider-Man would be like... No, the, the, the meme. The meme. I'll have to think about it. So I will shake... No. I was shaking an elephant dance, I'll think about it. Um, so when the session, split push up, pull over, dip, and Russian twist. Pull uh, upper body strength, so you'll need a bag for the Russian twist and the pullovers, a table for the dips. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll get it next time. The fact that you ran out of time for the elephant dance. Well, no, I don't need to try and remember now. What did I do? Come on, help me. Um, so split push up. Normal push up, but you're just going to change your hand position ever so slightly. So maybe have like the middle knuckles in line with the fingertips of the other hand, or just, or maybe the bottom of your hand. Just go with what you feel comfortable with. I'll tell you when to switch. Everything else we know, I'll explain as we go. In two, one, go. So, so Debbie, tell me, what's the difference between a wiggle and a shake? One looks more silly than the other, but I'm not going to tell you which one. Although I can't do the wiggle thing. A wiggle is just your hips, the shape of everything. Okay. Demi, join in with Jordan. Uh -uh. Yep. Nope. Sits there looking like my ivory tower behind the camera. Yep. Giving me sass. Hey, I offered these guys for me to get involved in look silly, and, and they didn't take me up on it, so. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, so relax. I will sit in my ivory tower quite happily. Might not feel very different, but. Changing hand position, you're starting to increase the demands on your shoulder ever so slightly. So we're then going to go into pullover in two, one, go. Back straps out the way. We did these during the week. If you have one of the inverted row, you put the table there. So you can maybe do two rounds of one, one round of the other. That's how I'm going to demonstrate it today. Okay, and what? I almost love my walk card. My watch keeps telling me when I'm training, and then sometimes in the middle of a set it says, oh, session, you know, session finished. And into dips. In two, one, go. So more control. Go over slow. Just don't let your lower back round. And slow pushing. Slow pushing is quite challenging as well. So if you want to go down controlled. I'm going to try and come up very slow. Have fun with that. And then relax. Finish up the round with Russian twist. In two, one, go. So we don't have to go with a really heavy bag. If 
kind of thing I'd recommend. Just like a book or something or a foam roller. Keep your feet off the ground and just rotate as far to the side as you can with a straight back. So you don't want to end up like this, kind of rounded back and just flipping side to side. Straight back, almost like a V-sit hold with a bit of rotation. And then relax. So 20 seconds. So what a wiggle would be more like. Okay, then, I'm still, I'm still working on the elephant dance. I can't remember what we did. Right, right. I... split push up. In two, one, go. I gotta be careful about the timing because people have to go to school. I don't like. I didn't get the train because he was trying to do a dance. <laughs> yeah, come on, I'm like, Deadman and Dad pulled me up and he described it as like the go around in a circle doing that dance. Were you dreaming? No. <laughs> I think Emmy's finally lost it. <laughs> it really sounds like I have from that description, but that's how you described it to me. <laughs> so you have to just go side to side, you can go further apart as well. So one hand out, like this. Relax. So split just means that you've got one hand where it should be, one hand off somewhere else. So make sure you level it out between the sides. Pull over. In two, one, go. If you want to do a inverted row because you've got the table from the dips, go for that. So I'm going to build this up, get more confident with them. Just try and keep all the effort in your back. So pull your elbows down. So right, instead of thinking about you going up to the table, pull your elbows down to the floor. And then relax into dips. In two, one, go. We should keep your elbows pointed backwards. Well, the advanced perspective before, but maybe you do a dip or a push. So my elbows should be pointed at the camera here. Rather than out to the side. Doesn't look that like much difference. Was it the Fortnite dance? Fortnite dance. So there. far removed. No. From a, no, no. Wait, well, was that, wasn't it? Like. Yeah. That one. Okay, relax. Done with dips. So Russian twist finish the round. And the clip of Spider-Man and Deadpool doing that dance. Two, one, go. What you've done <laughs> is heard me say, oh, at Comic-Con, when like the Halo guys and the Master Chiefs meet up, and you said, oh, you must have seen one of them do Spider-Man and Deadpool doing it. Which is fine, but that's not canon. No? Sorry, guys, the session's been a little bit railroaded. By the elephant dance. Worth it. Yeah. So if you have to break because your backgrounds, you absolutely do that. So uh, relax now. If you find you start here, good back position, get to the end, start to round, don't do it. You're better than that. You're going to start learning skills effectively, make sure you don't get hurt. Flat back, just a little mini break to, to recharge. We're going back into split push ups. In two, one, go. It's funny because anyone watching this video for the very first time won't know how crazy the side commentary can be. And I just felt, what an I just wanted the train, what is this? Yeah. So have a go, whichever hand position you go, you use on one side, try it on the other one. Let us know what you come up with. it when I can't uh, be behind the camera anymore. Um, relax, yeah. yeah. If you get called back off furlough then it'll be just me and my, me and my Jack Jones. Yeah. Okay, pull over. In two, one, go. Mm. 
Make sure you're strapped, I'm gonna hit you in the eye. Now think about your core engagement as well. So get your bag as far away from your body as you can. Knee with your elbows, but make a conscious effort, almost like doing dead bugs. Make sure that's as tight as it can be. And relax into dips. In two, one, go. If you find you're struggling with the push, so all the way up, shoulders away from your ears. Just go with the damn bit, so a couple of seconds. Down really slow. Set up. Reset. So really thinking about constant, uh, controlling your body weight. Reset. And relax. And then Russian twist to finish off part one. In two, one, go. I think it was that that was like best throws, the best friends dance for Porto, but I did that with my arm mm -hmm. on my face. I think I've never seen Fortnite. You told me about um, it's the dance that you see from Spider Man in that too. I've only ever seen Master Chief in Halo. So this is why the little breaks is important, guys. Three, two, one, relax. So your body will start to make short-term changes to how you perform skills. So to begin with, you're like, ugh, arched. There's little breaks. That was much easier to hold this position because your body wakes up. The one minute rest. So you've got aerobic conditioning next. And wonderfully, we're gonna fit that in. Mountain climbers, push at the stand. I'll fit it in during the aerobic conditioning, so I'll do the elephant dance at some point then. You've got mountain climbers at normal, and the new one is push up to stand. So literally, go down. <coughs> push up, stand up, in between. Like that. So you won't get many push-ups done. If you don't want to do the push-ups, you can just stand up to lie down, so standing. Stand up, other side for 35 seconds. That'll do the job. Launch the high knee and bean game, which I think everyone knows by now. So, get your beans in now if you want to do them. Yep. So, mountain climber in two, one, go. Shoulders sat over your wrist. Cara was straight in there with the beans. <laughs> okay, five seconds left. So I could have made that one. <laughs> Robin right. and Jamie say bean game. Push up the stand. Take it out of the way. In two, one, go. So if you don't want to do the push up bit, just go down into your front. Stand up. Like that. 35 seconds. So elephant dance, I think it was something like that, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. oh, if you can do the push-ups, pepper them in. Don't have to worry about how many you do, just try and do as many as you can. A couple more seconds. And relax. Then lunge to high knee. In two. One, go. So explosive recovery. Try and go 
Let's stick on one side before you swap. Swap sides. And stop. 20 seconds off. Back to mountain climbers. The last few, grab a drink. And mountain climbers in two, one, go. so much of a core thing. Well, I'm going to do bean game. No, All the time. Can't. Whoops, okay, double bean game on this round then. Okay, relax. Okay, we'll do bean game now, and then we'll resume. So. so you've got string bean, baked bean, two, string bean. Two, one, go. Jelly bean. Baked bean. Super bean. Uh, what the fuck wrong with me? Raw bean. Water bean. String bean. Jumping bean. Jelly bean. Then you got baked bean. And relax. That's over the combo. Uh, it was baked string bait. Well, we'll carry on with the string. Bunch of high knee in two, one, Which go. Which is fine because that ties in as the same as the next comment anyway. So we're going 50 50. <sighs> Make sure your knee recovery is explosive. Switch sides. And then we'll do push up the stand for round two. Now, and then we'll do bean game for round two. Then we'll start round three. So push up the stand in two, one, go. <clears throat> Other thing you can try and do is find as many ways to stand up as you can. So you go from your back onto your feet like this, back down the other way. Try to get up without your arms. Just in there. Go back down that way. Then we join in with bean game from Cara. Uh, Come back. No. Relax. No, no. It's 10 seconds off. Ah. Demi was going to do it with the quiz. I was. But no one gave the answers. So I don't have to do it anymore. Two, one, go. So the string bean make bean. And the next comment was? Uh, string bean baked bean, then it was Just string. string jelly. Oh no. And then jelly again. And then baked bean times five. I'm standing up and sitting there. Yeah. Then broad bean. Baked bean. And done. Cool. Round two finished. Um, Twenty off. Long round. Yeah, you're very observant. Yes, I am huddled under my blue blanket. Mountain <laughs> um, climber. Awkward. Two, one, go. Um, was it last week you set the quiz? Yeah. Yeah, last week Jordan right. set five questions uh, based on the video, uh, the evening video, and um, 
if all five questions were answered, I was going to do the full bean game that week. And no one did. Friday. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I wasn't there. Sorry. <laughs> no, don't say sorry. I'm fine that I, I mean, didn't the questions are still there. Right. Take sides, mister. Flush up the sand. You'll see how many ways you can find to come up from the ground. Two, one, go. So push up the sand. If you're happy doing that, what else could you do? You can go over to your front. Cat's pillow. Then back down. Onto your back. Uh, go single arm. Back down. Switch sides. Ten seconds left. Good. I started on that one, didn't I? Whoa. And stop. Lunge the high knee. Are you breathing? Two more. And two, one, go. Don't bang your knee like that. Control and drive. And then switch sides. Ten more seconds. And stop. All right, bingo. Three, five seconds. Let's go for it. Do your worst. Two, one, go. So we've got corn beans, baked beans, board beans, baked beans times five. Are these up with different people? Mm -hmm. Five. Jelly bean. It's going a bit much. Okay. String bean. Last five seconds. Board bean. Baked bean. And the final day. Do one more because this is from uh, string bean and a baked bean because they normally um, get a comment in. Cool. Yeah, I don't mind like adding it on if, uh, if it means no one gets left out. Yeah, I think All that's right. pronounced. Thank you for that. Thank you everyone else for, for joining in. It makes it so much more fun than me just making it up and saying it to you. Plus I just do all the serious ones, the running bean. I'm now a convert. Lee has officially converted me to the running bean. I just do it for, for myself now. So, we are doing static stretching today. Uh, Probably we'll just... Robin and Jamie say thank you. Uh, thank you, George and Jamie, for a great session. Can't wait for the next one okay. from the Nun and Nugget. See that, girls? A Nugget. Uh, thank uh, you from Scarlett and Michael. Thank you, Jamie and Jordan. Great session, as always. Really appreciate it from Cara. You're welcome, Cara. More than welcome. Uh, thank you from Maddie and thank you from Sam. Maddie and Sam are also extremely welcome. Have a great Wednesday. So right, right quad, left hamstring, right hip. Just don't forget, if you have to shoot off for school, still come back later on and do all this work as well. Or if you can, you might benefit, just do two rounds and then do some cool down. So you're not going from like, you know, an intense round of bean game and then sitting down for school. Let's swap over. Thank you so much from Dylan and thank you, Jordan. So much from from Harry. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Dylan, hope you had a had fun doing the. I think you commented on the the older video yesterday. <sighs> Thank you, Jordan, from Morgan and Phoebe. You're welcome, Morgan and Phoebe. Right, switch sides. No, you don't. Don't switch sides. Yeah. Right hip. Drop the foot down to the ground. Thank you, Jordan and Demi. My dad said I did really well from Clelia. I can believe in Clelia. What was that? Especially if you look at how much harder it is when you add in a fifth exercise in a row. Mm -hmm. That's why the older ones, you've just started four and four, and they now five, they've been five and five for a little while now. So 
We're catching up with them guys. Mm. Uh, thank you Jordan for a lovely session so. from Lily Johnson. You're welcome Lily. Uh, thank you for a great session from Joe. Oh. You're welcome Joe. Thank you for... Pardon? Uh, no, don't worry. Uh, Redhead. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Well, you knew it was going to last. I did. Uh, thank you for a great session from Praness. <laughs> great job Praness. Thanks for the comments. <laughs> okay, I'll try and do this one justice. Thank you, Jordan and Demi from Edith. It was all in capitals and it was all spread out, so I had to do it. I've done a neighbor surgery. Okay, <laughs> left, right arm straight, so lean forward, left straight back. To go for it from here, the lower I go now, so that I couldn't have done this in week one, but I can now get quite low and it feels all hamstringy. So make sure your back stays straight, um, shoulder underneath. Awesome session, thank you from Luke. You're welcome, Luke. And thank you so much from Grace. Kiwi, 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 kiwi. I will learn what the kiwis are about. <laughs> okay, drop your foot. Then go left, hip stretch. I'd laugh if it all started that someone pressed it by accident. Yeah, and then they just don't. And now like everyone's how... doing it because they like how baffled you are. Yeah. Let's find some kiwi socks. <laughs> I'm just going to adopt it so they get bored. <laughs> Can you just get... A fancy dress giant kiwi. Whoa. And do a session <laughs> with rolling, kiwi. rolling bean. <laughs> On my back. <laughs> oh. How was the session today? Just 40 minutes of this. Uh, okay, lats. Oh, don't open oh, no. <laughs> it. No. Okay, remember the bonus, so you put your hands down for a lat stretch. Hands go to the right. If you have tight hips, you can get, you can double up. Cross your ankles over, and you might get a bit stretched on the outside of your hip. If you don't, well, don't worry about it. It's meant to be a lat stretch anyway. Harry Styles has a song called Kiwi. Oh. <laughs> Are you not a Harry Styles fan, Jordan? Do I look like a Harry Styles fan? Yeah, I think you have his posters. Shh. <laughs> um, thank you both from B. Uh, thank you, Demi and Jordan. This was an amazing session. It got really hot in Bean Game from Danny and Sophia. Oh, it did, didn't it? With all the smiles and all the kiwis. <laughs> <laughs> we should play it. We should have like, Bean Game music. Yeah. We should nominate a Bean Game theme. Yeah. Okay. So keep doing laps for a little bit longer. Remember, you can go one hand over. You don't need both because you're only stretching one side. So I personally have found I can get hip and lap I do that. But try not to chase two rabbits at once. Just focus on one if you need to. And then go with chest. Grace says, who isn't a Harry Styles fan? I mean, if you hear me and Debbie pick our own music, you would soon find out. <laughs> I think a lot of you have uh, experienced my music in a sports hall anyway. Uh, Harry has just put me. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. <laughs> then everyone knows that he and Harry Styles said, I never once heard a Guildford Open last year. When I let everyone listen to music in the, the pre pool, no one put Harry Styles on. Pretty sure. Everyone had a chance. But the only, only main memories I had were uh, anytime if a girl put on Disney, there was just a female takeover in the office. And rightly so. <laughs> Everyone, like, didn't matter. It's the, it was amazing. Yeah. One, one of my best memories of last season. <laughs> the, like, the first Gil like, Guildford Open, everyone gets to all do pre ball in the office. Luke has just put, who is Harry Styles? It's Harry who? It's from uh, One Direction. <laughs> yeah, that camera out the window. It's so the first time we've done pre where like all the all the squads intermingled because there was Disney on, so the girls were just like, "Get out! This is our room," and they were all singing. It was really cool. <laughs> um, Grace has just put. I'm gonna pretend I didn't just hear that question. <laughs> <laughs> so now all I've got is ankles, neck. Try to wrap up. That's all right. Don't worry. Thirty-seven. You, you do your job. I'll just carry yeah. on that way. It's from from no one left anyway. We've all got to school. There's fourteen left. Um, uh, all I can think of is One Direction songs now. 
Thanks, guys. We're all going to live with it. <laughs> Challenge, you've got jump testing. So it's been a month, like, you know, well, week 12, or three months of just land training. Let us know how your jumps are going. But you might be you might be in a hole physically because you're still training so hard because you've got so insanely strong. But if they're improving, it'd be really cool to know. If you want to keep it to yourself, like we'll notice when we get back anyway. But it'd be really interesting to see how much you've improved your jump height if you have. Um, or even if it's not just jumping, maybe something else you've improved on, just let us know how you've done. A lot of more people seem to be going for runs before these sessions, so that's probably a good sign. And that's it. No talks. Have a great day. Thank you very, very much. For, for watching us live and then to everyone else watching uh, from Guildford City we want you to have a great day too and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.